platinum selling artist Kevin Sharp is optimistic about his future in music and inspirational speaking. A lot of labels, um, you don't really know who makes the decisions and you can spend your energy and time dealing with one individual that you think makes the decisions and then you come to find out that they really don't make the decisions. So you've wasted your time and, uh, and I think that's part of the, the plan. They keep you guessing um, so you never completely figure out who's who and who's doing what. But the great thing about Cupid um, Records is, is that Jerry's the guy and if he says it's gonna happen, it happens. Working with Jerry, it's, it's a comfort, a real comfort to know that what he says uh, goes. I kind of did my career backwards <laughs> in the sense that, uh, you know, our first three songs top the charts. And quite honestly, it's been a struggle ever since versus most artists who struggle first and gradually build. Um, in that time, um, Obviously, I was very blessed and very fortunate to um, have that success and those experiences. Um, but at the same time, my head was spinning that whole time. And, uh, you know, I've, I've really uh, learned to get back and just appreciate doing what I love. And more than anything, uh, that's, that's ultimately my goal. Um, anything above just making music and singing and being able to take care of my family. Anything above that is just extra. I think anybody gets to do what they love to do is so fortunate in this life because this life is tough. And uh, getting up every day to do something you don't like is not fun. <laughs> um, obviously because of my history with cancer and uh, you know my battle and my experience with the medical world dealing with that, there's a lot of um, opportunities to speak at hospitals and kind of share my experiences with doctors and nurses. You know, the patient-doctor relationship is, is so important. Um, but I've also, uh, one of my focuses now is I've, I stumbled into uh, motivational speaking. Uh, and I tell you, if, if those who have seen my shows in the past know that I, um, it's always important to me that an audience Rather than just hear the songs, uh, I want them to leave feeling like they know me a little better than they did before they came. And that's kind of how I, as a, as a listener, as a fan, that's what I hope to take from a show. So I would always share stories and, and, and different things during a show. So I'm kind of, this speaking thing has become the best of both worlds for me. Um, you know, throwing a few songs acoustically and um, speak to people and I am absolutely loving it. The song that most people associate with me, obviously, is, is Nobody Knows. Um, and uh, that's, that's when that song was released, is when the whirlwind began, because um, once again, I was blessed. And that song... I pretend that I'm glad you went away Four walls closing more every day And I'm dying inside And nobody knows it but me Just raced up the charts and, and stayed there at number one for four weeks Which hadn't happened in I don't know how many years for a new artist In fact, a new artist to have their first song go number one is about the same as your odds of getting Nobody struck by lightning. So that's pretty dang good. <laughs> very, very fortunate and luck, lucky. Why didn't I say the things I needed to say? How could I let my um, You know, there's a lot of luck in this business that people don't give enough credit to. Well, first of all, I think music is the most powerful thing. Um, that we have in our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, I don't think most of us even realize the effect that it has in our day-to-day -day lives. I mean, a, a, you're on the way to work and the wrong song comes on a song you don't like. It can actually, your mode, you know, your mood can absolutely change and vice versa. If you hear a great song that you, you love, uh, it can put a smile on your face that wasn't there before. Um, so when you uh, Put the two together with the spoken word, um, 
it's 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 just the perfect marriage. Absolutely. No one knows. I really hope to kind of like what I'm doing live for these companies and um, even speaking to colleges and, and performing musically. I'm hoping to do an album actually that combines the two uh, things together, but um, I will always be looking for the opportunity to continue making music. Just how I feel a million years from now, you know, I'll be loving you still. Like I said earlier, it's, it's doing what you love and enjoying it. And unlike, I think, a lot of people, you know, you always have an artist that gets so far along in their career and then they completely go in a different direction. And they say, well, this is who I was all along and I'm just finally now being able to make the decisions on my own and record the songs I want to record. Um, I don't know if I'm fortunate or if I'm just stupid <laughs> to believe it, but uh, I, I I've been singing songs from day one that fit. Nobody knows I've always done and have been fortunate enough to do uh, the things I like and the kind of music I like.